Good day everybody, hope everybody's doing well. Guess what I'm doing? Ta-da! I'm just going to resin over this. I've got some resin which has been... I haven't taped anything. Sorry. Okay, so I've put some plastic underneath there. Uh, it's just a keyboard for my Surface Pro and it just uh, looks a little bit, you know, aged. It's had, had a lot of... Uh, accidents with resin and stuff like that on it but I've got some resin here which I which started already to set so I'm gonna take a chance and, um, and do something funky with it hopefully but I do want to pour a little bit of this clear over it first so this material it's uh, it's actual it's fabric so it's not See? So even if I just do a little design first and then cover it with clear afterwards, it'll be fine. I just don't want to waste my resin. And I don't want any leakage on the side because I'm totally unprepared for this one. Otherwise I would prepare the back the the keyboard and all that, get it all taped up and stuff, but totally unprepared as normal. So here we go, just going to do a little design. Not really sure what I want to do just yet, but um, let's see what happens. So here I'm putting some, this is actually, I haven't mentioned it later on when, when I mentioned the colors, I haven't mentioned that that is the sunflower yellow, which I adore. It's just such a beautiful shimmery, pigment and some uh, Nemo epoxy paste just now the orange a little bit of sassy red and it, the pigments at the moment the resin rather is uh, is quite thick so it's a little bit hard to to place it and as you may have noticed I'm only doing it kind of like away from the edges and then spreading with my fingers, just spreading them out to the edges a little bit, because I, I I really want to be extra careful with um, with any leakage underneath, because I haven't taped the bottom of it, and I really didn't want to, because I just don't feel like cleaning the residues of the tape off my keyboard. So I thought, you know, it's got little grooves on the edges there, which you will be able to see. So I figured any resin that maybe will leak through there, highly unlikely because it's so thick, but it will, if it does, it will get caught in that groove there. So that was my, <laughs> that was my plan and it did uh, work. So just using my fingers now to just spread it out a little bit of um, steel blue here and there, whatever I had left in the cup from the previous pour I'm just putting it on there and I really wanted to jazz up this um, cover for my tablet um, because it was just looking so old and I, I was thinking of replacing it and then I thought no it works perfectly why don't I just resin over it and make it look brand new and interesting and you know it, it, let's just do that and, and that's what happened when I did this painting and I had some leftover, I just immediately thought, yes, instead of grabbing some coasters and things, I'll just get some, um, you know, I'll get, get my, my cover, my keyboard rather, and, and just uh, paint the back of it. And just using my fingers again, it's getting really hard to move right now. So I'm pretty sure that, yep, right now I am just heating that resin which this is what I love about resin you can reheat it for quite some time uh, and um, you got to know your resin you can't do this with just every resin but this particular one that I'm using it's brilliant and look at that orange and the red and the yellow mixing together oh my gosh it's such a That's fiery red. kind of color Colors are used. how That's nice is red. that Nemo. I do Lipstick lose that pink, a little bit rain, but um, um, steel blue 
you know, in the so next video, blue. but uh, at, at, at this stage, I'm, I'm real happy and with it. And it all to adds to the character, I'll leave really. That now, like that. Oh, I've got big hair in there. Get rid of that. Then it's set. And then I'm going to add some other little goodies to it when it sets. All righty. Alrighty, we're back now with part two. I've got a lot of little, you know, leftovers again. So what I'm going to do is, I actually got plenty now, and I just have to be careful that I don't go over the edge. Because so if I do, I'm in big trouble. So I'm going to try not to. That um, stuck beautifully. I love how that works because this is fabric, and yeah. You can resin on fabric. I knew that a while ago, but uh, yeah, mainly from having all my pajamas and things like that all messed up with <laughs> with resin. Okay, let's go and I've, since I've got a lot of red there, I might go around with this red. So like yesterday, it's thickening up a little bit, but it's not too bad. Still pouring out nicely. No. Oh creating any theme at this stage I just want a nice color and I just stick it got something there get rid of it I just want I want it nice and colorful anything but that gray and especially the it's just dirty and messy and you know this would be much easier to clean however if I wreck it then uh, I suppose I won't be able to use it anymore so uh, just being very careful. I can go down a little bit and I can go down here as well because that bit there folds. But I'm just being super careful now. I will use my fingers actually. Just being extra careful. I'm going to spread that. Go all the way up to the edge. I don't think it'll leak through there because that uh, fabric just grabs it and soaks it in, which is pretty cool, I think. So at this stage, I'm just going around with the red um, and not, uh, this is a, a ruby red. I love that color. But you can't really see it properly because it's sitting on, on that grey and it, it looks um, kind of like a brownish red, like more like a wine red. But still okay and I'm regretting putting it all around because I ended up doing a, a nice little um, ocean scene and that uh, the red, the ruby red kind of mixed in with my white and turned it a little bit pink. So that was a bit of a bugger. A bugger up and just adding that gorgeous gorgeous blue sapphire uh, powder pigment it's absolutely stunning and I know that you can't see it now but it is a really beautiful metal luster pigment gorgeous for um, your your seascapes it's it's just very pretty and I had quite a bit of it left over and I put a little bit so I'm at the moment I'm thinking yeah uh, this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make it into like a sunset over the ocean and that's what it ended up being so it's a bit of a horizon there and a little bit of blue in the sky which I'm gonna add some white to it to tone it down and and create a little bit of a sky I do lose a little bit of that as well because I use my fingers to swipe and the colors mix. As I reheat the resin, it becomes nice and soft and easy to swipe. And I love swiping because I used to always love blending. Um, you know the term, <laughs> blending when you with acrylics. And uh, I used to love doing that, just blending colors together and creating, obviously you use a brush for that one and uh, creating really nice background for for your scene so here i'm doing a similar thing blending 
with my fingers, gloved fingers of course. And so you can see that I'm, I'm losing that gorgeous orange and red a little bit um, because I had so much of that uh, molten gold left and molten gold does tend to take over things. <laughs> But uh, I didn't mind because I love molten gold. It's just a beautiful pigment and it does create some really, really nice cells. And a little bit goes a long way. So you don't need a lot. I have quite a lot in this painting. Um, uh, what am I doing here? I'm just adding a little bit of that clear, whatever I had left. I try to use everything up. And I realized at the end of this video that I left all those drips that you can see on the side there. Um, they're all fresh drips. So I ended up doing a little um, clock <laughs> with them. <laughs> no waste, not what not. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's just how it goes. Why? Because I've got so many skins already. I've got a box full of skins. Anyway, here comes the white. This is the angel white. And just creating some waves here in the blue. And like I said, um, heat really helps move everything and softens things up and uh, creates all those cool things. So you can see all those waves happening now. And I'm being very cautious because the heat, obviously, uh, you get the heat on top of the resin, but then it sort of it, it it kind of lingers into the resin as well and the substrate and this is a keyboard so i'm being very careful not to overheat it because i don't want all the electrical things inside the keyboard to to burn and and whatever you know I, i'm just uh, being very very cautious at the moment with the heat because uh, I want this thing to work, but if it doesn't work, oh well, I'm going to have to get another keyboard and then uh, frame this, <laughs> I suppose. Um, so my way there looks a bit wonky. And so I'm thinking about what to do with the way while I'm adding some of that gold and making it a real golden looking like sunset. And I will add some of that gold onto over the top of the waves and a little bit in the water as well and we've had some bushfires in my area actually I'm safe at the moment but uh, I took a couple of photos of the, the sunset uh, yesterday afternoon and oh my goodness it was bright red and golden so maybe this is a little bit subconscious I'm thinking most likely so just uh, moving that resin again, and you have to understand that the resin is quite thick. It's way beyond the starting of the setting. You know, the, the chemical reaction between the part A and B is already happening here, but the heat really helps. And like I said, it all depends on the resin that you're using. Um, and this resin, I can really play with it. This is why I love it so much. You can play with it, with it so much for so long to to fix things. And I tend to need to fix things a lot. And I'm pretty good at it, I think. So that um, wave is starting to come along. And I've got a little bit of that pink in there. So I didn't like it. So I decided to do a little swipe just with my stick. So you can see it turning into like a violet that pink mixed in with that blue turns into a bit of a violet which kind of looks cool but I'm still playing with it a little bit because I want to I just wanted more I just wanted to create something else and just um, pulling some lines as well just giving it a little bit extra character And shortly I will add a little bit more white to it and kind of uh, arrange it in such a fashion where it resembles a bit of a crashing wave, maybe over a rock or something like that. A 
and here comes that white you can see a, a little bit of a pause there where I'm thinking about where to put it and immediately just lifts that wave and because it's so thick and it's not moving it's really easy to to apply it in a certain way so I'm just adding a little bit of like a highlight of the wave there and uh, it, it, it's coming along and just using a, a, a stick to to pull those lines out and create create um, a shape it is pretty abstract you know in my defense <laughs> and just adding a little bit more white whatever I have and and this is just like drops now just dribs and drabs of things here it is I'm so happy with this one. It's a real simple, simple one. The colors are actually not coming up as good. So there's my little cover. It's still drying, so that's why I just wanted to fit it on and see how it looks. <laughs> but it's uh, still a bit tacky, so I won't play with it. 